Hello, this be Blue Star, Defender of the Equestrian Seas, and this be me next comrade video, Equestria Girls, the Salty Sails. Arr, you scurvy dogs, it be yet another boating adventure with the main six, which means only one thing. Ah, uh, arg, I be ready now. There be just one more thing, you scurvy dogs. I've seen this before, but uh, since I am a kayaker boater, I thought this would be fun to react to anyway, so, yo! And now I gotta break that voice, otherwise it'll break me, so, eh. <laughs> so anyway, let's get going in five, four, three, two, one, start. Yay! Arr, the salty sail. Uh -oh. Who'd let them a boat? <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Sailing ahead. Uh, ready about. Ready about. What? Why? Try caramel cream puff. What is serendipitous that we're setting sail? Because I am winded. Oh, but you haven't even gotten started yet. Oh, just a change of clothes and a coat in case it gets chilly. Also, a small folding table, various tools, a fashion reference library, and a bag of gems. You know the essentials. The essentials, eh? Well. The essentials, right? Right, sure. For the weight of the boat, but I forgot to account for rarity. Oh, ouch. I didn't know your calculations were so precise, Twilight. Nothing's accounted for. Its tides are fierce, yet sublime. As beautiful as they are, chaotic. Say what? <laughs> okay. Oh. Don't worry, I checked the weather. We should expect a strong westward gale in three, two, one. I don't know too many forecasts that are that precise. Yep. Ready about, tap, jive. <laughs> I believe it's pronounced Can jib. Can memorize the nautical dictionary? Turn. Probably. It's like, yes. All right. Oh dear. We're all doomed. You mean none of you know how to sail? Oh, yeah, We're all doomed. Tack north. Almost back on track. If only we could get a little more power. Captain, we need more power. Uh. Okay. Oh dear. I'm meticulously brought a charge. No, the horror. Um. <laughs> We're all doomed. Mm. Uh, turning would be useful. Mm. Uh -oh. He's coming. Okay. <laughs> well, that is a Whichever better than usually does. <laughs> I guess it's not of course. As long as you're with your friends. No. Your friends have towels. Well, that was convenient. Yosh. Vast. <laughs> Mysterious. Wow. We may never fully understand her. But nonetheless, she commands respect. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, mm. salted caramel. Well, that that ended quickly. <laughs> and as always, hard, thank you to you hardworking people working so hard on the show and these shorts and everything. Yo. <laughs> Arg! It's a miracle. The boat and the main six are both dry and in one piece. Yes. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> Arg, so that was the salty sails. <laughs> and for once, the boat and the main six uh, did not end in disaster, so yay! Because, <laughs> yeah, so far in all the previous uh, boating episodes, all of two of them at this point, <laughs> usually the boat ends up in pieces and the ponies and creatures that were in it usually end up going for a swim, which is why I was wearing this, so... <laughs> But fortunately, that did not happen this time, because, yeah, that would have been really bad, I think, in this particular circumstance. Because, like, you lost my boat! No! <laughs> I kind of like this one, because it's just fun, because I was a kayaker, boater person, and I actually have that little bit of sailing that it's just kind of amusing. It almost feels like it's a PSA for people who've never actually boated before. <laughs> It feels like, yeah, uh, Twilight is the person who's, like, memorized the dictionary, but doesn't actually know what any of the terms actually mean or how they're used. Uh, Rarity, I guess it's just this person who has absolutely no clue about boating and just bringing along everything. And I guess uh, Pinkie Pie's just bought watching and or reading too many uh, naval books or something, I don't know. <laughs> 
That was sort of my thoughts on that. Uh, was that the intent? Uh, probably not, but it was still kind of amusing. <laughs> there were parts of me that were gonna be like, oh, they got all these things wrong. It's like, that's not what that means. Like, I think I believe it's pronounced jib, not jibe. But yeah, I'm not much of a sailor. But however, I did bring a visual aid. Twilight saying, Tack Nor. I think it actually does mean turn, but how I understand tacking is being is like tacking is this way, so when you're trying to go up wind, because if the wind was blowing this way, you can't go directly up against the wind, so you have to tack this way to go sideways against the wind to move forward, which unfortunately I think uh, Twilight didn't fully understand that. She probably read it somewhere. It's like tacking is turn. <laughs> well, it's not as simple as that. <laughs> and even then, even doing a little bit of research on this, realized that uh, no, the, the nautical terms are kind of uh, difficult sometimes. Like that may not technically be tacking. I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> but still, I kind of like this one because it's just amusing, but it's definitely not one of the better ones, but it's just amusing to me because I'm a boater, so. <laughs> and I'm glad that it did not end in total disaster like it has in the past. I think I may use this opportunity to talk about the rest of these. I almost like to call these the true summertime shorts, because there are, most of these have taken place at the beach and everything, and I think that was kind of nice, nice change of pace. I remember when I saw Forgotten Friendship for the first time, I was sort of thinking, Oh, I feel kind of bad for all the staff who have to work on all these assets at the beach and it's going to be used in like one or two scenes. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad that was not the case and instead they decided to use it as a whole bunch of shorts. That was actually a, a good use of assets and everything. So, yo. Yeah, I mean, as a piece of animation, it's not spectacular, but it's kind of fun. I kind of like it. And I do kind of like the sort of looking at it as a PSA, but at least they got at least one thing right. They were all wearing their life jackets, so yo. And the other thing they got right was that, yeah, check the weather before uh, going boating. The last thing you want to do is sail straight into the middle of a thunderstorm because uh, that would be a really bad day. So yeah, <laughs> and definitely just wear it because I care about you and I don't want you to end up at the bottom of the ocean. And I'm glad that didn't happen to any of the main six, so. Yay! So anyway, I think I'm definitely overthinking this one, but I kind of enjoyed overthinking this one, so... <laughs> so anyway, it was okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video, even though both the video and my reaction to it were not that spectacular, but oh well. <laughs> and as always, thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and until next time, you scurvy dogs, this is Blue Star. Stay strong, and pony on! Blue Star out! <laughs>